name is Sandra Hassink. I'm president of the American Academy of Pediatrics. The way pediatricians practice medicine today is made possible by decades of pediatric research. Every child needs a strong foundation to ensure a healthy life. From nutrition to supportive relationships, pediatric research has taught us what we know about what makes children thrive. Pediatricians have long understood the connection from research discovery to medical treatment. Pediatric research helps children start out healthy and stay healthy into adulthood. As we think about the last 40 years of discoveries and innovations in pediatric medicine, seven great achievements in research come to mind. When I was training to become a pediatrician, about 20,000 U.S. children had Haemophilus influenza or Hib infections every year, and up to 1,200 children died. Today, because of the vaccine, current doctors in training, including my interns, have never seen a case. SIDS is the leading cause of death for infants between one month and one year of age. An awareness campaign urging parents to put their babies on their backs to sleep, not their stomachs, cut the rate of SIDS in half. Acute lymphocytic leukemia is one of the most common childhood cancers. In the past, it meant certain death. Cancer research has led to the creation of medications and treatments that destroy these cancer cells. Today, more than 90% of children with this disease survive. Research showed that premature infant lungs did not have enough of a compound known as surfactant to breathe normally. In 1990, the FDA approved supplementary surfactant. As a result, more babies born prematurely go on to become healthy adults. We were really excited when we found out we were first pregnant. I went in for my 20-week checkup. I remember the doctors telling us that I was in preterm labor. I, I tried to stay as positive as possible because I knew at that time really is very rare that a baby would survive. They said I had to do a quick cesarean. Um, I just said give him the best fighting chance possible. Kingston was one pound, three and a half ounces. So, I mean, you're talking about a baby who can literally fit in your hand. I had a nurse come in at the time, and I started talking to her about all the research that had been reading on March of Dimes about surfactant therapy um, and, you know, uh, the shots that kind of help develop the baby's lungs and help them be able to breathe. If it wasn't for the surfactant therapy, then honestly, we could say we don't know if Kingston would still be here. And today... He's a three-year-old going on 13. He's my pride and joy. You would never know that at one point he couldn't breathe on his own for longer than 15, 20 minutes. years ago, one in four mothers with HIV transmitted the virus to their babies. Discovery of antiretroviral medications has reduced transmission by two-thirds to the point where it's very rare today. Sickle cell anemia is an inherited disorder that causes a person's red blood cells to change their shape. The cells are more easily destroyed and tend to form clots, causing extreme pain, infection, and strokes. Research led to the development of new medications, preventive care screenings, and standardized disease management. About 40 years ago, the average life expectancy for sickle cell disease was in the teenage years. It has now increased to about 40 years. My mom was born with sickle cell disease. She uh, passed away when she was 39, and that really affected myself and my family. I am really grateful for the time and effort that's been put into pediatric research to help extend life expectancy. I have my life because of that. Research led to the development of car seats, seat belts, and graduated licensing programs. In infants, using car seats decreases mortality by 71%. In older children, the use of seat belts decreases mortality by about 50%. We all should be incredibly proud of the discoveries that have been made. But we still have a lot of work to do. 
It's very important that um, we continue to make sure that we're funding pediatric research. Funding research is really what makes it possible to advance child health. We have made incredible discoveries, and those investments have paid off in saving lives. 